Yo there guys, what is up Loot Gamesa and today we are showcasing B Kobo 24's world on Terraria. Now this is a all item world, but it's not just any all item world, it's a recreation of Builder's Workshop. And it's not just that either, it's got a couple of other things in too, and they are really cool. Here we go, here's a sign, it says welcome to my world Luke and hello YouTube. This building is modelled after Lever's Builder Workshop, as you can find on Steam, you can download it on Steam, have an all item up there. There are many other builds modelled after people's builds, with signs explaining what they are, and who built the originals. So I do like the fact that he's actually like shouted out the originals within that, because it's very very helpful for someone to like see and then I don't know check them out and he says thanks for joining me so as you can see as you join Builders Workshop you'll spawn in the middle but you spawn over here on this map it's not too much different so you can see there's loads of different things all the NPCs are in modeled houses which I really really like you have literally every single armor and vanity out on showcase as well pretty much anyway I don't know if every single one's here but there's a lot and as you see it lags a little bit as well but above these it's got chests and you can open them and it's got things in them the things that are in them coordinate to what's under them so if there's like i don't know these two here you'll open the chest and you'll find those two there that's what they are they're all in big stacks as well of course because well wouldn't be an all in world without it <laughs> especially on xbox anyway then we have the signs up so you can see this is all swords and this will be like all swords and stuff like that and then i think maybe end game weapons i don't know um and then you have machine guns and guns bows as well you've got summoning items You've got all of the tools like pickaxes and axes, magic weapons, and a bunch of other things. So at the end of each of these aisles, there's actually teleporters that take you through the whole thing. So you can go through the teleporters, and then you go to the row that you want. If you don't know which row it is, then what you can do is go to it, have a look what's on it, and then go to the next row and keep doing it like that. So it's really good. And you can see all the different blocks. These are actually coordinated as well. So, you know, you see the rainbow here. There'll be rainbow blocks in there. There we go, uh, the pink dungeon, you see pink dungeon there, which it makes sense really. I think these are all in similar ones to Builder's Workshop. Of course, we haven't got 1.3 yet, so some of them might be a little bit off. But again, great map, so much things in it. And I think this is probably the most accurate Builder's Workshop on Xbox that I've seen that, well, it's been like Xbox. It's super awesome. I can't believe how accurate it's actually got it. Like, it's lagging me out right now as I'm playing it. That's how big it is and how much things are in it. So we'll go back through these teleporters as well. Here we go. There's one, two, three. We're down here now. You can see all the torches and stuff. You've got torches there. Crazy crafting benches. More torches. And I think these are all chests. Yeah, they are. Okay, bunches of chests there. Go down here. Have all the Christmas items, all the crafting benches, so you can actually use these and get the achievement for it, along with most statues there. It's not good. Uh, I think they've just got them under it. So where it says A, that'll have, oh yeah, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, W, X, Y, Z. And there we go. That is your A to Zs. Wow, I love this room right here. This room is like, wow. Some of these paintings you don't see a lot either. I don't think I've ever come across this one. I don't think I've ever come across this one. I've never come across that one. Never come across that one. Don't think I've ever come across this one here as well. That is super cool. I don't know what that is. And it's really cool to see the Where's Waldo? Uh, I love that one. There's... Uh, I don't know if it goes from rarity or what. Whoa, that's mad. That's uh, that's, a, that's a painting on, on uh, Google if you search it. I forgot what it is. And I think... Don't quote me on this, but I think that one is a super rare painting there. The one that I'm like squaring around. And then... All underneath here, we have all the different banners as well. Do they have banners in here of what they are? They do. Whoa, the stacks are crazy. So if we continue on to the right, I don't know if there's much over here. I think it's just like a trip down. Yeah, it's not got stuff in. Anyway, let's continue down this way. And there should be a truffle worm farm under here. Because I did have a quick look at the map. As you can see, I've got it all explored in so I don't miss anything. And I like to do that before I showcase world. Here we go. We've got a jungle there. Then we've got this here. Whoa, Spectral Elemental. Where did he come from? He, he, he literally come from nowhere. Anyway, so this is an efficient truffle worm farm. As you see here, zero gravitas truffle worm farm. I'm good friends with him, a good friend of mine. What happens is, oh, it brings up life as well, all that sort of stuff. So uh, there, truffle worm, see that? So you catch it, that's two truffle worms in the space of like a few seconds. It's mad. That is very efficient. What happens is basically all the mobs will get killed by the flame traps. And then it will bring up the truffle worms and you can grab them. And all the wiring's there. There's probably, if I've got some a piece of wire, I can show you the wire. There's like mad wiring. <laughs> like crazy. Look at that. So it's all like wired up in specific order. 
And again, I don't know how someone has the time to do this. It's crazy. No, I don't, don't actually take that long. So that's pretty cool. Like I say, I like I like how what he's done there. I don't know why, but I really like that. That is like it's like he's just gone through and destroyed it all and just thought, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm sure it's something to do with the uh, actual trap though and the how it works. I'm not, I'm not too sure. So let's go up above here now, and there is a ton more things to explore. Trust me. Do we got all the trophies there? Over here, I think is the I think it's a mushroom farm. An efficient one at that as well. I don't know who has it got the thing outside. Yeah, there. To the left is a mushroom pumpkin farm. Above it is marshmallow. Shout out to all my mellow gang. Yeah, hashtag mellow farm. Love it. So that's marshmallow. I love mar marshmallow. Makes some great music. But yeah, here's this is really efficient by the way. What you do is you press one, and it will get rid of all that. And then you press this, and it will. Oh, <laughs> and it teleports you down here. Uh, I weren't expecting that one. I don't know why. Why, why didn't I expect that? I, I don't know how to work this, to be honest. That was just the of what, the, the farm anyway to that. This is currently my teleport hoi cup, but it only works for me. Oh, so it'll only work in single player. Okay, that makes sense now. So you can get all items there. And these are all hooked up in some crazy form. I don't know how you... Whoa. Oh, <laughs> see that was shot up in the air. But no, the other thing was just to farm mushrooms. That's what I was trying to get the point across. But then I saw that crazy building right here. I really like it. Is this in the sky? Yeah, it's built in the sky. So it's a, it's a pixel art. It's like, wow, that looks amazing on the map. Look at that. It's like a fireball. Meteorite or something. Meteorite building. Magic meteorite building with like mushroom building next to it. And mud building. Like, whoa, what's that? These paintings. I don't know. I I've not saw half of these paintings, I swear. Like, I've not saw half of these. It's crazy. I like the platforms there. That actually works really well. It looks like above that, he's got some more buildings too. Makes uh, use of all the different blocks as well in the game, which is a, a really good use for it, actually. Mushroom and a massive mushroom kingdom. Ma maybe Mario lives here. Ooh. <laughs> Can we find Mario? Where's Mario? Where is he? Where is he? I need Mario. <laughs> but you get the idea of that, guys. It's a bunch of crazy buildings and workbenches and workshops and all that sort of stuff. Anything above it? No, I just saw finishes there. So if we teleport over to here, I think there was just something above this. So we're going to go check that out now. And hopefully it's a very good building. I think, oh, oh, to the left of it. Okay. So it looks like a castle over here too, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this uh, leads back to the main castle. or if, Oh. That's all hoiked. <laughs> like, literally everything's hoiked around the map. Yeah, I haven't explored this part yet. So it's got, like, a little nice castle there. That looks pretty cool. Like the idea of that. I like the build. Very nice. So many different hoiks around the map, though. <laughs> so I'm just, like, going around thinking, what will hoik me next? Right, let's follow him to the next part of the map, then. Let's go to the left. Okay, these torches, they must do something. A, B, C. I think that might be the wiring for uh, the hoiks, so you'd go through them or something. Yeah, I think that's what it does. So one, two, three, you'd go through them. I'm not too sure. You'd have to ask Kobo 24 I don't know the full features of it, but if you do want to come check it out, I'm pretty sure he hosts this map. So you come and check it out yourself, first person. And I think that'd be like a better way to come and look at it. Overflow, are these shout outs? So look, my, my cursor's all the way to the left. Right, yeah, here we go. This was originally my online world. It will now be converted for hoiks and such. Oh, so that castle's all for hoiks then. So that's, yeah, it is. So I assume that the teleporter will go there and then the hoik will like take you around into a teleporter. Is there stuff on these? Builds chests, horseman bladed grinder by Joe Price. Nothing there. Okay, so I'm going to follow him to the next part now. Let's go. This is the welcome screen. It says welcome. This was an old spawn hoik that has since been decommissioned. Oh, okay. It's been decommissioned. It's been removed, but it's no longer there. It's been replaced with the amazingness of spawn. I made this campsite for Liz Lambert, Pyrox Studios. Oh my, that's awesome. Liz Lambert, this is your area now. Claim it while you can. Claim it while you can. That's amazing. That looks so cool. It's a nice little like area. Yeah, I believe. Oh yeah, the, the teleporters take you down. And I think it's a destroyer, 100k destroyer thing. These teleporters are rudimentary recreate of AT Atom TJ's arrow stacking 100k plus DPS boss destroyer. So what you do, I think you get like a bow and arrow, you shoot upwards and then you teleport down these and it takes you all the way to the bottom and then... What happens is it stacks up and destroys the destroyer like crazy. That's a really good method on how to kill the destroyer easily in expert mode. This is a semi 3D build of the box art of the game we all know and love. Oh, I understand. So the box art of Terraria, 
That's what's on it. That's the box art. That's crazy. I'm going to leave a thing on the screen now with the box art, but that's mad. That's so cool. And yeah, I'll leave the box art picture on the screen so you can see it, guys. And you can see how accurate that is. It really is really accurate. Right, let's go around here. And I think this is some shout outs. Looks like it. Right, we have, yeah, youtube.com slash bkobo24, Loot Games Official, and Wormyash Games, which I think was part of this map too. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. Again, I'll give BK Kobo a chance to talk about his map in a minute. Anyway, here we are. This is a star through Hoik. Fallen stars are only item in the game that will automatically mount a Hoik. So you can catch them and accumulate every one that falls during night. That is super cool. So every single fallen star that does come down, the fallen stars will go through there and you collect them all right here. So the Hoik all into that. Oh, that's amazing. It's really cool. We are off to the next area now, which I believe is going to be a pumpkin moon and a frost moon arena. Do we have to go on this Hoik? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I love them. Hoiks are just amazing. I don't know. They just are. They're just so good. So, whoa, right up into the air. <laughs> okay, let's continue through here now. Got some of the buildings, of course. We've already seen these things, so we're just going to go straight through. And, oh, nice oriental build. I like some of the build ideas and builds that people have. Christmas build right there. Okay, so, we're going to go. No, we're not going to go through that teleporter. Here we go. We are at... The bridge, and this is Rulik 15's 2.5D bridge. So it's a 2.5D bridge. It's not 3D, not quite 3D, but a 2.5D. And these are the background. The background's obviously painted black, so it looks like it's in the background and placed in the background. That's super cool. I do like that. What's it sound this side? Is it my g gazenbo? G gazenbo? A gazebo or a gazenbo? <laughs> well, what's a gazenbo? My original build in Rulik 15 style. Ah, wow. This is this adds a lot of color to it. I like this one. It's smaller. It's not. Whoa. It looks like we just turned into a grayscale version of the game. What's, what's that all about? I need to read this. Rulik Hanoborum, formerly known as the Dastoration. I call it the Restoration. It's a work in progress. It looks really good. I really like this uh, area and the idea of it. Again, it looks grayscale though to me. I don't know if that's just me or a, <laughs> or what, but that looks awesome. It looks like it'd be some sort of like old, old style building, like proper old. Looks good though. I do really like that. And as I say, we are making our way over to a pumpkin and frost moon arena over here. I do remember it being somewhere near here. Waterfall fall in there is great. Looks really good. Okay, let's uh, make our way down here. And yeah, this is this is the Frost Moon of Pumpkin Moon Arena. As you can read here, Joe Price's Flaming Jack Boss Grinder. The spawn point is forced platform below. And I use my Horseman's Blade inside to spawn and spawn Flaming Jacks. And they're the things that comes out of your Horseman's Blade. Current record of the final wave is 9.30 for the Pumpkin Moon. 12.30 for the Frost Moon. <laughs> and I've not even got near that. So this is a really good arena. As you can see um, in action, it will fire down here with spear traps, so that'll take a lot of damage off the enemies. Of course, there is lava around, and the uh, things go up like that. They're arrows, and they're poisonous dart trap arrow thing. And there we go. Look at all those. So you swing that, and they would go for all the enemies around. Of course, they would attack the enemies in the middle as well. And all your DPS that you're taking is actually being took by the slimes. What you're attacking is the mimics. So the slimes will come out instantly. They'll take all of the damage, and the mimics will simply just... Well, just tank all the damage. And as you can see, the wiring for this is very, very confusing. <laughs> Whoa, look at all that. That's just... I, I guess that was a work in progress. And maybe he's going to link it up in the future. Or maybe he was just trying to find a good way to link all the things up. Who knows? But there is so much wiring in this world. It would make me go crazy. Put it that way. It looks good, though. looks good. We have an NPC Hoik engine, 60 activations per second. So this Hoik's NPCs. I, I'm not too sure what, what, that, what that's used for. And over here is a few farms, things like that, statues. Old arena that uses teleport. Oh, okay. So this arena you use teleporters. And this will be to fight the pumpkin moon and frost moon again. Fair play. Good traps all around. There's so many things in this map. Spawn point. And then this takes you to the spawn point then. Let's go to the spawn point. Let's get in there. Come on. There we go. Boop. And now we are in the spawn point. And this is the beauty of the map. Here it is. All in is full grace. Of course, it's not filled on most of the map. But imagine if you built all around the map and it was that crazy. So anyway, guys, that's been the map today. I'm going to let Bcobo24 say something about his map now. So when you're ready, just go ahead. This was an original map that I made, so you won't be able to find a download for it anywhere. I started building this world back in June 
of 2016. So it's taken me the better part of 18 months to build it this far. It wasn't until about February of this last year when I decided that I wanted to host and actually like become somebody of importance within the Terraria community. I've been playing this game for about six years now. You know, I've seen a lot of people that aren't the nicest, so I decided that I wanted to be one of the good ones and share the wealth. So far I've already helped somewhere around like 5,000 people, giving away over 15,000 items to various people. I've had a good time trying to get a really positive influence in this community and uh, show my love by emulating those builds that you saw during the video there. Like Rulik15, he's probably one of the greatest builders in the game I've ever seen and I wanted to learn how to build like him. So I decided that I was just going to build a few things of his just to get the feel for how they worked. And that was really the only way that you could do that. And you saw a couple other ones that I did in his style as well. Also did a couple boss grinders like the pumpkin head one you saw and the uh, arrow stacking one. I didn't get a chance to really show you how it worked, but basically it just teleports you below arrows to the point where when they fall downwards the next stack is right there to fall down with it and they will all hit at the same exact time yeah shout out to wormy ash i gotta throw one back to him because he threw me one in his showcase uh, as always to the big major players like chippa gaming and uh happy days they keep us all satisfied with huge amounts of content and you too luke that has been bkbo's 24s item map or just map in general again i love the fact that it is a rebuild of builders workshop and just how cool it is really like it hopefully you guys like it too and again he does host this so if you do want to join do send him a message his gamer tag is on the screen now you can check him out all the information is in the description as well i'll leave his channel there you can check that out and he does weekly hosting i'm pretty sure so you can go check that out too that's been me today please hit on subscribe stay frosty and peace so let me be, I'm doing fine Don't you waste your precious time I don't want, want you back